desire for you this week because we're going to be breaking down the surfing of multiple world champ bodyboarder that is actually body surfing. It is none other than Mike Stewart. What can we learn as surfers from a bodyboarder? <laughs> There, there is no difference whether you're riding a bodyboard, whether you're riding your own body, whether you're riding a log. We're, so we're still just surfers. My, well, I love Mike Stewart's ability to read waves. Okay, okay. it's probably it's, it's definitely better than most surfers. Mm. He sees stuff in waves and he feels stuff that some people that, that have surfed their whole lifetime have not even got to comprehend or understand. So the knowledge, the intrinsic knowledge that Mike Stewart has. Why do you think that is? Because he is at the mercy of the wave. He can only ride the, wave energy, the wave's energy. So he, he's so used to tapping into that. And then there's very little positioning that you can do on your body compared to lying down that you can do, say, standing up. Mm. So he's able to mold and change his body position to accelerate, decelerate, turn. All, all those kinds of things. And um, it's the subtlety of molding your body to a wave that he does so well. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna get the iPad now. This is body surfing. And the reason why we've, we've chosen this is because body surfing plays a really big part in the 12 week accelerated surf program that, that Clayton has created. We encourage people to go out body surfing. It's something which I've got massively into over, over the last year. So. Prepare yourselves for some serious excitement from me as we watch the body surfing. It's, it's, it's really changed the game for me in my understanding of positioning and, and, and understanding the ocean. So I highly recommend body surfing, but let's break it down and let's see what we can learn. Check this out. It is phenomenal. Oh. Oh. Look, he goes Look from... Like, no, 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 hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. He goes from, he goes from oh. arm out in front of him oh, to then doing... I, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a, the arms behind. The, I don't know, the Titanic. Look, 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 this, look at this. He's getting totally barreled. He's getting barreled. Okay, now hang on. Let's just, let's just go back to when he comes out. Which hand is he putting forward? It's his right hand. His right hand. So that's his back arm. Okay, so if you were surfing, it would be your, your back arm that you're getting forward. Oh, okay, so if that arm was behind him and you were surfing a surfboard, you'd be side onto the wave. Correct, so he's body surfing front on. Yes. Does it make some sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we did a Joel Tudor where he's longboarding and he's got his back arm in front. We also did... Uh, well, but I think you'll find any coaches either we've done. Coffee cup, coffee, coffee cup. cup. So it's, it's almost like Mark Stewart's got his cup of coffee over here. Uh, wrong thing. His cup of coffee over there and doesn't want to spill it. And he's just going, okay, I'm going to body surf and not spill my coffee while I'm body surfing. Does that make some sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. So the amount of control that he has just from leading with that arm is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look at how level his chin is. And yeah. can you see his head's tilted? So if we do this, so the angle of his head is tilted so he's, he's, to his oh, shoulder. Ear, ear on the wave. He's, he's, yes. he's leaning. He's so leaning. He's basically leaning in. And this is when we did the, the Ori Brown um, finless surfing. Basically, Mark Stewart's finless. Yeah. And he's leaning. So it's the same technique. Like, uh, oh, it just it all just jumps out to me. It's the yeah. same stuff, same stuff, people. When you start seeing it through that lens, it all makes sense. So, so uh, it is the same stuff. That doesn't mean you need to stop watching the coach's eyes that we're doing because you're going to keep learning. But, oh. but, but, but a lot of these techniques are going to come up time and time and time again. And the reason why is because, they, oh my word, what is he doing? He's flying. He's like Superman. No, 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 no. Hang on. Oreo biscuit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... so Literally, the cream is coming. Look, you can see the cream. <laughs> okay, so... Imagine that he wants to take off on the wave. Okay, so when you paddle in, if you arch your back, all right, you're gonna get more lift. Yep. If you drop your chin on your board, you got a nose dive. So watch this. So as he goes further, nose dive. So if you're paddling into the wave and you're looking at your board or you're looking at the trough, you're probably gonna nose dive. Now, this is what I'm loving, is that if you got a pop-up problem, you're looking down. Okay. You, the problem isn't in the standing. The problem is where you are looking and what your body language is suggesting. I, 
Okay, so, okay. So, so, so what you're saying is this bit here, that is somebody popping up on their surfboard and looking down at the nose of their board and, oh, hello, your nose diving. Yeah, and then they go, oh, I've got a pop-up problem. Now you've got a looking problem. <sighs> I'll I, I tell you what, I don't know how we're going to wrap this up into, into three takeaways at the end because I think we've already oh, had about seven. At, look at this. Oh, that is insane. He's a dolphin. He's a merman. So look there, okay, chin up. Looking where you're going. Okay, so in surfing, if you're popping up, I would call this the glide. Mm. So as the wave comes, don't rush and stand. Glide into it. Take a breath. Look and pick the line that you want to take on that wave. No, no, no. Go on. Go, go, go. No, no, I'll interrupt you in a second. We're getting excited here. Look, he's picked his line. He's Listening. pointing yeah. at that line and he's getting barreled. He is so deep in that wave. He's gone. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Don't give up on him. Boom. Oh, behave yourself. <laughs> now, he's arching his back in that foam to get out. Do you know why? If he dropped his chin, he would go down. How's he going to get lift? How's he going to pop out of that foam? I honestly didn't think he was going to come back out. I've watched the clip. How did I not know? Look back. That's just ridiculous. That. that is a magic trick. That was camera trickery going okay, on. Okay, so. There's an edit. So an aeroplane to take off needs lift. A no. boat to plane, it needs lift. So he's arching his back and creating lift. Okay, so my point being is when people want to catch waves, the arching of the back is going to help them plane better. When you push your chin down, you push water. Yeah. Okay, so the Oreo biscuit effect over here is in full use, and I'm, I'm loving it. Now, Ooh. Oh, oh, no, this is it. There was one bit in the video that I noticed that I wanted yes, to, this is it. Yeah. to bring no, up. Let's, let's play it. Check it out. There. Oh, okay. There. Go back. So this was something that I picked up on, and I, said, and I said to Clay, does that mean anything? And then we sort of both sat there doing this with our hands. If you watch, he's almost doing a high five. Now, when you've spoken about surfing in the past, you talk about wrist forwards and wrist back. Yes. And wrist forward will bend your back. Yeah, well, you almost probably saw me on the chair. As I did that, I actually went forwards in my chair and do this. And it's straighten like, your back. And it's like a, it's a, a, a straightening. Yeah. But what I think it's doing there, and I was sort of playing around with this, like if you're body surfing and you went like this, as soon as you got that, it makes this arm go like a rod. So it makes it possible for him to do things like that. Also, it, it makes him be driven more by the way. That's what I think. It, yeah, makes yeah, it, it yeah. turns him more into a board in that moment of, of taking off. Okay, so let, let me throw a question out at you. So there he goes again. So watch, watch the hand go back. Okay, so hang on. Here's the question. Um, well, it's not really a question, but basically, you know when you push off a swimming pool wall, how do you get glide? You, 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 you straighten yourself. You make, yeah. yourself. you make yourself like a pencil. Like, like a pencil or like a spear, like a yeah, javelin. Yeah. So yeah. you get pushed. Better thing to say, a spear or a javelin. Okay. So basically by making himself more into a spear or a javelin, the, the energy of the wave will lift and push him better. Mm. So by doing that, he's actually starting to tap into the wave energy more. Does that make more sense? It does make more sense. Uh, sorry, I was, just, I was just thinking then about times that I've Look, been look at the around. control. And he's leaning as well. Which, so when he, when he leans, basically the water that's sucking up is lifting him higher up the yeah. wave. Yeah. Okay, so by leaning, he's actually getting positioned higher and higher up the wave, which then when he needs it, he can get speed to drop down the wave. So he can then accelerate and decelerate yeah. by toying with the lift in the wave. So notice he's not, he's not too focused on what's happening on the fall. It's more about the updraft or, or the lift of the wave that yeah. you're riding. So phenomenal. Look at that. Oh. Oh, okay. Does he, does he come out? So, so check this. When he pulls into the barrel, so from that, watch his body angle change. So he's going, going. Now it's getting steeper. He almost leans more. See how he picks a higher line? Yeah, like, and his chest has come all out the water like, as he's sort of rotating up and around. And then when he wants to come out, he will, get, he will do a lower line and come out of the wave. So there's the lower line, and he comes out of the barrel. Oh, waving, help. but not saying help at all. He's just going, yeah, I'm Do you notice how cool. he hasn't got crazy arms? Look, it's almost like a synchronized swimmer. Arm up, even the position of the hand is bent that way. Yeah. 
Because if the hand went the other way, he would close his shoulder. So he opens the shoulder, opens the shoulders. No way. Look at that. Look at the hand positioning. Oh, so he did the hand back again there. As soon as it comes out, look, he makes himself rigid again so that the wave energy picks Correct. him back up again. And he's leaning. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Do you want to, do you want to freak out something like okay. crazy? <laughs> right. Oh, right. Are we going to go to the other clip? Yeah. Right, we have another clip. Uh, uh, let me, while Clayton's finding it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you. There is a wave in the world. If, you, if you've been it involved scares, in surfing. It scares me. Like I've surfed Greenbush at Mentalize and that was like scary as not next level. This is... As soon as you say it, you're going you're gonna to know about it. If, you, if you've been interested in surfing for any period of time, you would have heard somebody say, Chopu. And I think I pronounced it right. Chopu. He body surfs Chopu. And no one is small. No one is small. It's quite big. So let me bring the iPad back up again. We're going to freak out. So, we're going to get some takeaways. And then hang on, hang on. Before we show it, actually. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do. Hit that, that subscription button. Also hit that notification bell so that you find out when the coaches' eyes come out. They're normally every single Monday. Uh, also, we've got a free PDF download for you. So what you've got to do is head over to onbi.co, click the button that says join Surfax, click that, enter in your email, we'll send you through the ebook. And not only that, we're going to send you a whole bunch of other videos that are going to help you improve your surfing. Now that I've told you what to do after you finish watching this video, let's freak out. Let's go. So, and like, honestly, these guys doing airs, on, there's, there's so much surfing footage out. Yeah. This got my hairs on my arm standing up. I'm, I'm, for some reason, I started flapping my t-shirt. Look at this. His body surfing. He knows he's going to get a ball. Oh, look at this. Look, look at the look, drop. Look. Oh. He looks yeah. so sure chilled, so relaxed. I'm going to go for a casual swim. Such a great woman. It's gnarly, dude. That thing is spitting. <sighs> I was making my head itch watching it. Oh. And he makes, look at, he made that one. That was in. Anyway, let's, let's bring it up and go for screen. Insane. There was a lot of takeaways there. There was a lot of takeaways. I don't even know if we can list them. There was that many takeaways. I, I, I think one that's, that's really standing out for me, though, is that bit where you showed him and he looks down. It's a big mistake a lot of surfers make is that they look down and then they end up nose diving and they end up going over the pools. A lot of beginner, those people that are sort of beginner moving on to that intermediate level, it's a, it's a trap that they fall into a lot where they look down at their boards, going over the, end up going over the handlebars. So that was a golden takeaway for me. So in the last three coaches' eyes that I've done, everyone's chin is level. Yep. As soon as you drop your chin, you go down. Yeah. Um, so you need to look where you're going. And then how much control he has from his hands and how little he moves. And then again, the big thing is lean. When you lean, you're gonna get that lift from the wave. Yeah. And if you look at foil borders, they ride the lift. If you look at dolphins, they ride the lift. The body surfing is about riding the lift. If you can tap into the lift, you're always gonna get picked up the wave and you're gonna find the speed that you're looking for. Yeah, and so, even, even the Ari Brown, although he was using gravity to go down, he was then using the lift to come back up again. Correct. Now, surfers that surf flat, they basically, if you weigh, say, 70 or 80 kilograms, you've got 70 kilograms on your board. But as soon as you lean, you're weightless. Mm. Then it's easier for the wave to lift you. So if you're surfing your board flat, the rock is slowing you down, friction slowing you down, you're heavy. There's no ways in hell you're going up the wave. Mm. Okay, but as soon as you start leaning and then extend, you're going to get that, that pop to go up the wave. Yeah. So, yeah. So there we go. And uh, well, once again, apologies to all the bodyboarders out there that I, uh, that I kind of put out out of the realms of surfers, but you are well and truly in there. Mike Stewart has just shown us just exactly He's a legend. what we can learn from somebody who is a world champion bodyboarder. Guys, if you haven't downloaded the, that, that PDF, make sure you head over to ombi.co and do that. We'll see you in the next Coach's Eye. I'm only going to have a drink because <laughs> I'm pretty sweaty after you get all that excitement. And you might want to watch this one again because there was lots of gold in there. See you in the next one. See ya.